Guys, in this video, we want to look at the air pollution effects on health, how it can be prevented, etc. Okay, basically, you know what air pollution is, right? So, it is the presence of uh, substances generated by activities of man. Okay, these the presence of these substances in the ambient atmosphere. That will be air pollution. So, this these uh, levels of these substances are present in concentrations that interfere with human health safety or even for that matter animal health safety, comfort. So, and it is injurious. This becomes injurious to vegetations. So, all this will be air pollution. Okay. Sometimes these chemicals can enter the food chain also. Okay. And uh, they can be present even in drinking water, etc. So, where do you think, what are the sources of um, air pollution, automobiles, right, industries, then um, domestic sources, human habits, miscellaneous. So, a lot of things can cause air pollution. What are the pollutants? Nit nitric oxide, right, NO. Nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide. Nitric oxide is NO, that's correct. So, nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide, hydrocarbons, so here they have mentioned here hydrocarbons, nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide, ozone, right, ozone, then sulfur dioxide, lead. So all these they are calling as pollutants, okay. So what can these do? The effect, so basically they can hurt your health, how they will do, let's look at that. Immediate effects will be something like irritation of the conjunctiva, nose, throat, respiratory mucosa, conjunctivitis. So, immediate, suddenly you will have all these eye effects, conjunctivitis, allergic rhinitis, so nose is affected. So, they are talking about the eye, the nose, then acute pharyngitis, bronchitis, acute attacks of bronchial asthma, death by suffocation. They are talking only about the respiratory system here in the acute effects. Then what happens in the delayed or chronic effects? In the delayed or chronic effects, chronic bronchitis, bronchiectiasis, emphysema, right? So there can be chronic bronchitis, bronchiectiasis, right? Bronchiectasis, bronchiectasis, emphysema, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that is COPD, right? Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, bronchial asthma, lung cancer, impaired neuropsychological development in children. So, now this became a little dangerous. Impaired neuropsychological development in children. So, basically, in chronic or delayed effects, they are again talking about the respiratory tract itself. And then the only thing here they are mentioning is the neuropsychological development in children, which can be impaired. That would be a chronic effect. Now, coming to the social and economic effect, so it just doesn't have effect on health. It can have effect on social and economic factors also. Social, we are talking about air pollution here. We want to talk about the social and economic effects. Okay. So, what do you think will be the social and economic effects of air pollution, guys? So, there can be destruction of plants, animal life, corrosion of metals, damage to buildings. So, there can be a lot of uh, maintenance activity that you need to do because there's damage to these buildings, cleaning, repairs. There can be corrosion of metals, right? Then there, it can look bad. Aesthetic nuisance, reduced vis visibility can be there because of uh, air pollution. There can be damage to clothing also, right? So, let us look at the monitoring, the indicators of air pollution. So, we need to know this, the indicators of air pollution. That is what we came here for, isn't it? That was the whole intention of this video, indicators of air pollution, if you remember. So, let us go here, air pollution. So, monitoring, etc. will need some indicators, right? So, we are looking at some indicators to monitor air pollution. So, basically, you can daily monitor such pollutants. If you have seen in news, they will all be, be always be showing this particulate matter and uh, poisonous gas matter in the news, in the weather, right? So, here you can see in Delhi, they were telling, right, poor, very poor, severe, moderate, the levels, right, air quality. So, all this they were telling in news all the time. 
So let us look at the indicators from which they gather all this information. Okay. So the indicators of air monitoring sulfur dioxide index. Okay, so you have sulfur dioxide index, smoke or soiling index, suspended suspended particles index, then you have coefficient of haze, right, coefficient of haze, then air pollution index, oh, air pollution index is coming under indicators of air monitoring. Okay. Then you have others. So, sulfur dioxide index. So, can you tell these? Sulfur dioxide. Smoke. Suspended particles. Particles. Coefficient. Of haze. Air pollution, Air pollution. Index. index, others, Other. under others there is lead, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, oxidants etc. Okay. So basically if you are talking about suspended particles there will they will be grit, dust, other solids etc. Coefficient of haze will be the, it will ex, uh, again amount of smoke etc. So probably this is also referring to the visibility, what do you think? Air pollution index is an arbitrary index, they are saying. Then what about smoke here? A known volume of air is filtered through a white filter paper and discoloration is measured. Okay. So main thing they are measuring here as a particular gas is sulfur dioxide. Okay. So how will you prevent air pollution? Air pollution prevention. So containment, what do you think about containment? Prevention, the es prevent the escape of toxic substances into the atmosphere. Then a replacement, replace all these uh, pollution causing things with non-hazardous or less hazardous process like use electricity, solar energy, biogas, etc. Right? So you reduce the lead control uh, content of petrol, reduce the lead control Red, sorry, lead content of petrol should be reduced. That's why you see you will get unleaded petrol and all that. Then um, uh, you should be able to use hydroelectric power if it's possible, right? Then what about the next point here they are talking about? First one, first one, what was it? Containment. Containment. You Containment. Yeah, containment. Here what will you do? You will prevent the escape of toxic substances. Then we are talking about replacement. So you will try to use more friendly energy. Then we are talking about dilution. Dilution is where they are talking about maintenance of green belt. So that these uh, plants and trees will help in maintaining air quality. Okay. So they will dilute this pollution. Active community involvements. So active community involvement. So active community involvement means what? Here increasing community awareness about air pollution all that. So it's more like education. What do you say? So you will be telling at home, at work, maintain green belt, forbid tobacco smoking, etc. Then coming to legislation. Legislation. Guys, what are we talking about? We're talking about prevention and control. Right? So legislation, legislation like the government is of India. So you should know this act guys, Air Act. There's an Air Act, 1981. So let's know this, government of India has en enacted a legislation, the Air Act, 1981. Okay, so this is Air means Prevention and Control of Pollution Act. Okay, the act has laid down provisions such as the height of chimneys, chimneys, Okay, the height of chimneys they have told, then uh, research and education concerning air pollution, smokeless zones, right? They have nowadays said there should not be any smoking inside the office campuses. So there should be a smokeless zone, right? And standards they have defined for ambient air quality. So that is the Air Act 1981. Can you say this? Air, air Act, Act 1981. 1981. Yes, okay. Then, 
Lastly, let us look at international action here. So basically the WHO has established this laboratory in Nagpur that is in Maharashtra. So this laboratory will uh, check the air, right? Monitor and study air pollution and issue warnings whenever necessary. Okay. So this is about the prevention and control. In India, air monitoring is done by National Air Quality Monitoring Program. So let's put that here. You have a National Air Quality Monitoring Program. There's a National Air Quality, Quality Monitoring Program. Okay. What is this doing? It is sponsored by the Central Pollution Control Board. See, these are all specific things that you should write. Otherwise, in this answer, everything will be very generic. So, they'll be looking for such words. NAQMP. What is NAQMP? National Air Quality Monitoring Program by Central Pollution Control Board. By Central Pollution Control Board. Can you say this? CTRL. Okay. National Air Quality Monitoring Program by Central Pollution Control Board. So what these people are trying to prevent? Air pollution. So basically this uh, National Air Quality Monitoring Program, it has generated data since last 14 years from 10 major Indian cities. Okay. So la from 10 cities, data of data from last 14 years it is maintaining. Okay. So that is about uh, air pollution. What is the significance? So monitoring of air pollution is very important to control air pollution. The best indicator of air pollution are sulfur dioxide, smoke and suspended particles. Okay. So let's just take a recap of what we have seen so far in this video, air pollution. So we saw what the sources are, effects on health, immediate and delayed. We saw the effects, social and economic effects. Then we saw the indicators for air monitoring. Then we saw how to prevent and control. That's all for now. Say bye.